Hey everyone, it's Tom here with thisonlineworld.com. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. So there's a good chance you spend at least a few hours every day listening to your favorite playlist on Spotify or Apple Music or wherever you listen to music. I mean, studies have found that the average person listens to almost 20 hours of music per week. And that's a lot of tunes. But what if you could earn passive income at the same time you enjoy some of your favorite songs? Well, as it turns out, you might be able to. And in this video, I'm covering five legitimate ways you can get paid to listen to music in your spare time. All of these ideas pay you with either cash or gift cards for listening to music. And one of the ideas I'm mentioning near the end of the video also pays out someone over a thousand dollars per day right now. So there's some really cool and creative side hustles in this video about music. So you definitely don't want to miss it. Let's get to the ideas. All right, so starting off with the first way you can potentially get paid to listen to music is to use a platform called Playlist Push. And if you currently own a playlist on something like Spotify or Apple Music that has a decent number of followers, then Playlist Push is absolutely where you should start. And it's a really cool platform. So Playlist Push is an online platform that connects independent artists and playlist curators in order to help new artists get discovered. So as a playlist curator on Playlist Push, you can actually get paid to review songs from new artists and then to add them to your existing playlist to help new artists get exposed which is kind of cool. And so a friend of mine actually has her own Spotify playlist with over 6,000 followers and she uses Playlist Push to make a little bit of side income. It's nothing crazy, but it's a cool way to monetize this playlist that she built, you know, just out of fun and as a hobby. You know, now she's making a little bit of passive income from it and getting to check out new artists. Now, again, you're not going to get rich by using Playlist Push. In fact, the platform says that you get paid about $15 for adding a song to a playlist. But again, this can add up nicely and it's a fun source of passive income. And really how much you get paid depends on the size of the playlist, the niche or genre it's in and again how many followers you have so keep that in mind as a baseline though you need 1,000 followers on a playlist to even apply to be a curator with playlist push so again it's a super simple idea but you might as well start building some playlists if you're a fan of music and this is kind of up your alley and again you could try jumping on some trends like there are playlists out there about TikTok sounds or maybe ones about movie soundtracks or things like that so lots of ways you could get creative build a following and then monetize all right and the second way you can potentially make money by listening to music is to use a platform called radio earn and radio earn does exactly what it sounds like it basically pays you for for listening to different songs on radio stations. And really the platform is quite simple. You just have to sign up for free and create an account. And from there you can listen to radio stations that Radio Earn provides and you earn points every 15 minutes that you listen to music. The website is global and 100% free to use. So again, you just have to create your accounts or browsing its different radio stations and just play it throughout the day to passively earn points. The rewards are also kind of cool. You can cash out your points for free Amazon gift cards, wire transfers, or even free Bitcoin, which is a little bit unique. Now, really the main downside of Radio Earn is it takes you a while to earn 1,000 points, which is worth $1 and how you actually cash out. And when I was researching this app and I tried it out for a little bit, this is definitely the main downside of Radio Earn and a lot of these get paid to listen to music type of apps. I mean, if you look on Reddit for reviews of Radio Earn, that's, again, the main complaint. People say, yeah, it's cool, you earn some passive income, but it takes, you know, weeks or even months to cash out. So just keep that in mind. I think it's a fun and cool way to explore some new music genres or some radio stations, but you're not quitting your day job off of this app. All right, and the third way you can potentially make money by listening to music is to use an app called Current Rewards. And this is actually an app I've reviewed on thisonlineworld.com before. I've tested it out in the past. I've even mentioned it on this channel before, and it is by far one of the most popular music reward apps out there. Now, Current Rewards is a free app that's available on iOS, and Mode Earn is actually the version for Android devices. It used to be called Current Rewards, but it rebranded. But both of these apps are basically the exact same, and they let you make money by listening to different radio stations, just like Radio Earn. What's also cool about Current Rewards and Mode Earn is that they have other ways to make money as well, including paid surveys, gaming apps, shopping offers, and even by watching videos, which is another topic I've covered on this channel. However, radio stations are definitely the most unique selling point of these apps, and Current Rewards actually has over 100,000 different stations and songs you can listen to. So again, a pretty diverse library of music you can enjoy. And the process is super similar to Radio Earn. You just pick some radio stations you want to listen to, play it in the background, or, you know, enjoy the songs in your car or on your phone, and you slowly earn points for doing so. Now, Current says you can make $600 per year by listening to music, and this is about $11.50 per week at earnings. And let me just tell you, after testing out this app and researching it and writing a review about it, this is not how much money you're going to make. You know, most people I've seen talking about Current Rewards make a couple of dollars per week. They're not making 11 dollars 50 cents a week they're not making 600 dollars a year but again this is kind of a fun passive income app you play some music stations you listen to new music you discover new artists and you get paid for doing so you can also cash out your current reward points for some pretty decent rewards including free gift cards physical merchandise and electronics charitable donations and free paypal money 
Again, you're probably only making a couple bucks a week or month unless you use some of those more active offers like surveys or gaming offers, but with over 100,000 songs and radio stations, there's lots of music to explore, so I recommend checking it out. All right, and coming in at number four on this list of ways you can make money by listening to music is to use a website called Slice the Pie. So Slice the Pie is by far one of the most popular websites in this category, and the way it works is pretty cool. So in a nutshell, Slice the Pie lets you sign up and then review music from new artists. You can give your feedback to these artists to help them improve their songs, and it's basically connecting you know, new and independent artists who are looking to improve their music with review viewers who want to make a bit of side cash. Now the average song on Slice the Pie lasts about 90 seconds. So you basically sign up, you can listen to these sound samples, and then you give your feedback about the music. In exchange for your review, you usually earn about two to 10 cents. So again, Slice the Pie is really not a high paying platform. It's one of these GPT sites that's a bit more unique, but it is a cool way to discover some new music, give your feedback and earn a little bit of money. Again, this is kind of a fun side hustle. I think serious music fans might enjoy. I mean, you're trying to you know help new artists improve their music. You're listening to new songs, which is kind of cool, but you're probably making five, to ten dollars per month at most with this platform because there's not always enough new music samples to go around slice the pie pays you with paypal money and you need ten dollars to cash out so again it's probably going to take you about a month or two to actually get paid from slice the pie which is a bit of a downside but again if you want a fun side hustle to do in your spare time alongside these other apps you can definitely check out slice the pie and i have a more complete review on this onlineworld.com as well that explains exactly how this website works all right guys and the fifth and final way you can make money by listening to music is by far the most lucrative option and i think the most fun option in this space and it's to start a music review channel on YouTube. And so the idea here is actually quite simple on paper. It basically involves listening to some of your favorite albums and artists, and then sharing your thoughts or album reviews or song reviews on YouTube. And so plenty of people are doing this right now and it is a competitive niche on YouTube, but that doesn't mean there's a lot of money on the table. And I wanna share one really cool example I found. And so the channel I wanna share is called The Needle Drop. And this is a 2.8 million subscriber YouTube channel where the owner reviews popular and niche albums alike as they get released. And his videos get anywhere from 20,000 to 100,000 views on average. So this is one of the most massive channels in the album review space. And if we look at Social Blade, which is a really cool analytics tool, it's estimating that he makes about $1,000 a day or more in AdSense revenue alone. And so making $1,000 a day from an album review channel might seem crazy, but it kind of makes sense when you consider how many views this channel gets and how often he posts. I think music is also an incredible niche on YouTube because of the engagement you can get. I mean, if you look at his videos, they have hundreds or thousands of comments because everyone wants to hear his take on a popular album and then share their own opinions. So these sorts of channels can grow quickly. And again, you can cover trending news, new album releases, industry events. You can really be current with this kind of niche and a channel could take off quite quickly. It's also great for shorts. It's great for just, you know, having fun with this kind of passion side project of yours. So a very, very cool niche on YouTube, in my opinion. I also like that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get started. I mean, you just need a webcam and a microphone and then to talk about music you're listening to anyway. So you really don't need to spend a lot of money to test out this idea. You could do the same thing with a music review blog. And you know, I have a soft spot for blogging. I love blogging, but for music related stuff, I'd probably start on YouTube and then maybe port it over to a blog if you find success. Anyways, guys, that does it for five of my favorite ways you can get paid to listen to music. And I'm just going to wrap wrap up this video quickly by talking about the earning potential because like some other side hustles out there, I've seen a lot of misleading information. You know, in my research for this topic and one of the main reasons I actually made this video was again, I saw content creators saying, you know, I have these videos, you can make six, 12, 15 bucks a song you listen to, or you can make thousands of dollars a day by listening to music. And they would talk about current rewards or slice the pie. And they were kind of dishonest about the earning potential and, you know, clickbaiting people by saying, oh, you can make a full-time income by listening to music. And you know, guys, for 99% of these apps and websites out there, this just isn't the case. I had the same kind of realization with the video I made on watching ads for money. And there's a lot of clickbait content out there. A lot of people saying, oh, you can make full-time income doing this or that. But in reality, this is just a fun side hustle for most of these ideas. If you're really serious about this idea, again, I think starting a YouTube channel or a blog are by far the most lucrative options. And on top of that, there are also lots of offline ways you can make money while being surrounded by music. I mean, you can learn how to DJ, you can work at events, staffing gigs, at concerts, you can work at a bar, you know, there's tons of ways you can be surrounded by music and actually make money. You can learn how to busk, do it on the street. Tons of ideas out there that actually pay pretty decently if you're willing to hustle. Anyways, guys, that does it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you have a fantastic week. I'm going to be linking my ultimate guide down below from thisonlineworld.com on even more ways to get paid to listen to music if you guys want to check it out and kind of support the blog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And as always, don't forget to check out thisonlineworld.com for more unique ways to make and save money. Catch you guys in the next one.